For most of my life, I've known how to swim. But by that, I mean, if my life depended on it, I could swim from one place to another. I don't even know if swim is the right word. Like, if you saw me casually enjoying a little swim at the pool, you'd be like, D -d does he need help? Like, is he drowning? I mean, like, I did take swimming lessons, but I quit at level alligator, bro. I, I never even made it to level one. With that being said, this incident dates way back to when I was in grade four. We were going on a field trip, and of course, it's to the pool. But I'm not stressing. I, I know I safely passed level penguin, so I should be chilling. My whole class and I walk into the entrance of the pool, but before anyone was allowed in the pool, they asked everyone if they knew how to swim. And I thought, we're in grade four. There is no way somebody still doesn't know how to swim. And just as I presumed, nobody needed a life jacket. So me and the gang are swimming around, you know, jumping off the diving boards. Fun stuff for a grade four field trip. But after about an hour, my friends and I are just chilling in the deep end. And that's when I see a kid in my class named Ben on some floaty things coming in our direction. A little backstory about Ben, for as long as I can remember, this dude has been on my nuts. So when I saw this dude coming in my direction, I assumed he just wanted to say hi or something. But as he made his way towards me, I could tell he was struggling. So I swim over to help him out. Oh, hey, Ben. Uh, how are you? This kid jumps off the floaty thing onto me. And this man has the meanest grip on me. Pause. Well, this shit had to be some sort of attempted murder, bro, because he had me in a chokehold and his legs were wrapped around my arms. But they did not prepare me for this shit level alligator. So instantly I start sinking and I hit the bottom of the pool. Keep in mind, Ben is chilling on top of me with his head out of the water this whole time. So I jump off the bottom of the pool just enough to get my head out of the water for a few seconds. <gasps> ben, get off me. And when I look up, I see this dude Ben with the straightest face in the world. Like this motherfucker has no clue I'm out here fighting for my life. And he says in the most monotone voice, I can't swim. Ah, oh, hell nah. I'm trying to fight him off me, but keep in mind my arms are tied up. So I gather all the strength out of my skinny ass grade four legs and I jump just enough to get my head out of the water again. <gasps> Lifeguard, help! Oh, you guys, stop playing around in the pool. That's it. I I'm fucked. I I'm dead. And out of sheer anger, I decide, fuck it. If I'm dying, you're dying with me. I duck as far as I can under the water so both me and Ben can't breathe. But I'm running out of air. I start to get lightheaded. Man, that's crazy. This is really how I die, huh? And just as I had lost hope, my main man, Bob, comes in on some Superman shit, pulls Ben off me, and swims me over to the shallow end. I cough up some water, but eventually I catch my breath. So that's the story of how I almost died. And it's also the story of why I owe my life to Bob.